I believe I can fly. So this. I oh. believe I can touch the sky. What you want to do here is press select options controls invert controls for flying. Mm -hmm. If you are familiar with first person shooters, mm -hmm. unless you like your controls inverted, mm -hmm. you need to change it from what's default. Because mm. it's backwards of what you'd think. Like down makes you go up. You know what's fucking crazy? And I don't know if there's any truth to this, mm -hmm. but I remember hearing that Koreans play StarCraft with inverted mouse controls. Well, that's insane. Yeah, so like normally you move the mouse up and it goes up the screen. They do upside down. That's just mind numbingly crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like that doesn't. No. That. Blah, blah, that yeah. Doesn't. Especially for a game like StarCraft when you're not like. It's not controlling someone's head. But uh, apparently, like. Oh, what game was it? Final Fantasy XII, I believe? Mm -hmm. It had some crazy fucking camera controls that, like. I got. Something was inverted. It was like left or right on mm -hmm. the camera. I think was the wrong way yeah. for Americans. And apparently, like the Japanese, that's the way that they do it. Oh wow! And so when they tested it over there, no one complained. But you couldn't switch it in the options. Oh my god! So you had you were forced to learn it. And I was like, Ooh. What game was that? Final Fantasy XII. Twelve. Mm -hmm. That like was like one of the older themed ones, like with magic and. They all have magic and summons in. I'm Phoenix talking about Defenders. like. There's like future ones and past ones. Yeah, I think it was an older themed one. I didn't like it very much. I never really got into it. Or it didn't grab me like some of the other ones have. I think 7, 10, and 13 are the future ones. Mm hmm. And the other ones are like old school. Mm. They're not set in the future with right, like right, yeah. trains and shit like that. I don't know. <laughs> so you're just avoiding all the shit getting pooped down on you? Yeah, I thought that... Because I got hit a couple times when I was playing through on easy. I'm like, oh, that's, a, that's not bad. I bet on hard you can't get hit at all, but it actually doesn't do that much damage to you. Oh, they don't knock you off? They just do damage? Mm-hmm. Oh. That's good. Yeah. And then when you drop down here, you'll see some gold sparkling. Take out your flashlight. And uh, jerk off with it really quick. <laughs> You'll upgrade your magic. It seems like such an insignificant bump, mm -hmm. but it really makes a pretty big difference. Mm -hmm. Now, the health treasure chests and the magic treasure chests, mm -hmm. do they completely fill up your health bar and your magic bar? Yes. They do, even if you have full health at the end of the game, like the f the maxed out bar. Because in the pre in God of War two, it definitely didn't. Maybe I don't know your question. Okay, at towards the end of the game, mm -hmm. when you have all the eyes and all the feathers, yes, and your bar is as big as it's gonna get, yeah, will one treasure chest, will one green treasure chest, completely fill up your health? No, fills up half your health. Okay, that's that's what I was. Oh, I thought you were asking when when you get three Gorgon eyes, does it restore your health completely? Mm. Oh. And the answer is yes. So if you have zero health and get a third Gorgon eye, mm -hmm. it's like getting a full a health free. Thing. It's like getting two green chests if you're like all the way maxed. Okay, got it. So that's it for the flying part for now. And uh, once you get up top, it's like this crazy... You'll come back here. But it's like these crazy like blocks moving around on chains. Mm. It's kind of weird, but that gets all explained later on. <laughs>